L O L. I couldn't find my mic. <laughs> I was like, where's my mic? Can't do a whole lot of explaining without a mic, can you? Sheet. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a yet another live cooking show. Um, wasn't planning on it today, but uh, I was at the supermarket this morning and all the nuts they were selling there were like on sale. Like half a kilo of nuts for only five euros. Now that's really cheap. Because nuts are like gold nowadays. Nuts are really expensive, especially certain types of nuts. So <coughs> here I am with a cooking show and it's gonna get nuts. Today we're gonna make some cookies. And I think I didn't update my menu. Give me a sec here. No, I haven't. Batchimona. Let's see. Let's update the menu real quick. Then we'll switch to the camera. No, I didn't change the menu yet. Alright. Uh, there you go. Save. Alright, menu. Exclamation mark menu. Episode 63. Holy shit. That's a lot of episodes. Today. We're gonna make cinnamon walnut cookies and we're gonna fill those with some hazelnut paste. We're gonna make that hazelnut paste ourselves. So let's uh, switch to the camera here. Cooking. <coughs> What's up? It's a me! Jamona! Can camera please load in I guess not no let's retry that let's see why isn't the camera loading in hello hello um. Check here. What's up, Miranda? So somehow my camera is not loading in. Jenna, Canada, what's up? Hello, Miranda. I think. Are you going to cook here? I hope so, because somehow my camera um, don't doesn't load in. Let's see. That's a first. All right. I'm just gonna re-edit then. Give me a sec here, guys. Yeah, I'm on it right now, Vic, thanks. Let's see, camera. Mm, Logitech camera. Nope, that's the wrong one. Mm. Hashtag stream alive, always. Oh, I got double audio now, sorry about that. Always something up that needs to be fixed, right? Let's see. Hmm. I never had this issue before. Uh, that's a first. Right. 
right? Maybe if I switch ports. Bear with me, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm trying. Double audio again. Yes. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to cook, yes, Jenna. I am. I hope so. Uh, or open the camera application in the background, then close it. Let's see. I'm gonna just relaunch live stream. You don't have to apologize for that, Vic. Restart everything. Yeah, I might have to do that. First, I'm gonna try and restart Lightstream. See if that helps. Yes, I think it worked. Can you guys see me? Hi. Let's see. I think we're good, right? At least it shows on my end like in yeah yep all right what's up guys thanks for tuning in um yes we know each other from chief's channel that's correct jenna um like the other day uh i was browsing through my uh, followers list and um then i saw your name and i'm like shit i never never hit that follow button on your channel i haven't been able to check out your streams though yet I hope everybody's having a great weekend. I'm certainly having a great weekend because I'll be making some cookies. Um, really straightforward recipe, this one. Um, we're gonna make a, hold on. Let's do a explanation mark menu again for those who just tuned in. Today, it's uh, episode 63 and we're gonna make cinnamon walnut cookies and we're gonna fill that with our own made hazelnut paste uh, it's gonna be delicious um, I think most people just buy hazelnut paste or um, spread depending on how you call it like Nutella um, but it's actually pretty easy to make yourself all you need to do and that's maybe the biggest issue is finding yourself hazelnuts uh, when you go to the supermarket, at least over here in my country, there's a whole shell with different kinds of nuts. You got like mixes, you got like walnuts, cashew nuts, pecan nuts, uh, para nuts, like a whole bunch of different kinds of nuts. But somehow you'll never find yourself a bag of hazelnuts. It's rare. Today, this morning, I was at the supermarket doing my regular groceries and the supermarket I went to all the nuts were on sale half a kilo of nuts for only five euros now that's really cheap these nuts yes it's gonna get nuts today we're gonna get nuts yeah you know? <laughs> i expect a lot of word jokes today in chat so fire away you can go so many directions with that um without further ado let's have a look at the ingredients so i'm gonna i'm not I, i'm saving up money for a second camera but right now I only have one, so every now and then I have to switch up my camera position. So if you suffer from motion sickness, please look away briefly. We're going to have a look at the ingredients. You can already see them over here on the right. But we want to see them with our, with our eyes as well. So, let's see. What's up, Martin? What's up, Sippy? Oh, please... Don't film your own growing, Jamona. We don't want it. Martin, no nuts, no glory. <laughs> What's up, Zippy? Zippy, Zippy, Zippy the chick, Mojiru. 
Martin is here. Hope, I hope all's well, Martin. Man, I should make Martin a chicken too. I got such a large list of people I still want to make their own chicken for. Right now you can see Sippy's chicken. Making mine look like a shack. <laughs> nice one. We'll see at the end of the stream who made the best joke. Um, as mentioned, with nuts you can really go nuts with the word jokes. Uh, and I really appreciate word jokes, that's like my thing, you know. Um, so here are the ingredients. Um, for the hazelnuts, as mentioned, I found myself some hazelnuts, 200 grams to be precise. Uh, you can also buy these with the skin still on. If you got those hazelnuts, you can roast them in the oven for like 10 minutes on 160 degrees Celsius. Then you can peel off the skin really easily. Uh, these are already like pre-roasted, so we don't have to go through that process. Uh, saves us a little bit time. Um, that's for the for the hazelnut paste. Uh, we're also gonna add uh, coca powder to that and some sunflower oil. Uh, if you want to have more intense flavor with your hazelnut paste, get yourself some hazelnut oil. I didn't find it, so I'm using sunflower oil. Also, hazelnut oil can be quite expensive. So if you want to keep it as cheap as possible, just use sunflower oil for that. Um, what else do we need for the hazelnut paste? Uh, some vanilla sugar, just a little bit. And icing sugar. Don't use regular sugar. You get like these little pieces inside your hazelnut paste. Uh, icing sugar is like powder, so you can really mix that well together. Um, sea salt, you have to add a little bit of salt, preferably sea salt. It just brings up the flavor of your paste, you know? Uh, so that, those are the ingredients for the paste. Let's catch up with chat real quick before we continue. What's up, Mark? Mark is here. Slug, aka Slug, how are you doing, man? Chin nuts are your favorites? I like, I think my favorites are Pig and Jenna. Those are my favorites. Uh, and I have like even my abonnement here. Nice, Martin, let's go. You did that off screen, Martin. I need to go right now. All right, Martin. Good luck, man. Good luck. Um, maybe see you tonight on the battlefield. Hopefully. If not, we'll talk soon. Martin, thanks for dropping by, man, saying hi. Martin, one of the most dedicated regulars at the chicken farm. Appreciate it, Martin. Miranda, I haven't even started cooking and Miranda is already like... Nom 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 nom. Fick is in the building. Maybe we can have some Fick booties. I like the Fick booty emote, just like Miranda's face emote. I love using those emotes in their chat, but also in other people's chat. It's just fun. Um, all right, ingredients for the cookies, which is a pretty straightforward recipe. No technical stuff or anything. Butter over here. We got some cane sugar. You can use regular sugar, but it suits the recipe better here. Uh, Self-rising flour. The walnuts, um, this is more than 100 grams, but I got a whole jar of it, as mentioned. They were on sale, so I went ahead and bought a lot of stuff. A lot of nuts. I got another jar over here with all different kinds of ones, like cashew, macadamia, uh, cashew. Oh, I already mentioned that. And a whole bunch more. Um, we're not going to use those. Um, cinnamon. I got some cinnamon over here. And some nutmeg. I hope I pronounced that right. In Dutch we say nootmuskaat. And we need one egg. So we're going to start off by making the batter for the cookies. So all the hazelnut pa uh, ingredients go away. Hazelnut paste ingredients. And then we're going to start cooking. We need the cinnamon. We need that. We don't need this one yet. So, start off, I 
I'm grabbing a bowl. It's a little bit wet. Zippy doing his mod thing, he's appreciated. Shouting out Miranda. The beast from the Netherlands. It's Miss Miranda. I need my weighing skill. I got a fancy weighing skill, look. Fancy. And right now, we need 125 grams of self rising flour. Where is my sieve? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hello? Stop hiding. Where did I put it? I just used it this morning. So. But I don't remember where I stored it. Hello? Hello? Um, Alright, I guess I'm just going to use a different one. That's not like really soothing. But it has to do for now. No, this doesn't work. Right? Just, just gonna have to mix it up well together. You have to put the flour through the sieve, you know, otherwise get like little chunks in it. <laughs> Mark is rolling over the floor because of Jenna's comment and me saying it out loud. <laughs> How have you been Mark? Hope you're fine. I hope you're doing good. So, got the flour in there. We also <coughs> need the cane sugar, a hundred. Into the bowl. We need the cinnamon. Spoon here. One big tablespoon of cinnamon. A little bit more. We need some nutmeg. Now I need a little take teaspoon. For that. Two teaspoons, guys. I love nutmeg. It's a really good ingredient for making cakes or cookies. Alright. So, if you want to try this yourself, you can like either watch it now and make notes. But I'll always make it easy for you guys. On my Discord, you can find the recipes from the cooking shows, but also recipes posted by others, by the viewers and the followers. And yeah, feel free to use it. Add an egg. I, uh, Uploaded the recipe on a word. I always upload the recipes in word files. So you gotta have word on your uh, laptop or PC um, This particular recipe is in the sweet and dessert section All right, um, I need my whip The rest I'm gonna do by hand. Let's roll up the sleeves here. Going, doing good. 
just relaxing with some yummy cookie on Twitch. Mmm, who doesn't like cookies? I guess if you're on a gluten-free diet, you don't. Well, you might, you might still look it, uh, like it, but... You can't eat it. So, as you can see, it's quite dry. But that's because we didn't add the butter yet. And we need 150 grams of that. So this package of butter has like these little lines on it with the amounts. So it makes it easier for you to figure out how much you need to cut up. Don't need that. Let's put that aside for a second. So this is 150 grams. Me and Mark, we met uh, on the Fractured channel on uh, Facebook gaming. Like one, Frag was one of the few people I knew from Mixer who went to uh, to Facebook gaming. He recently stopped streaming, unfortunately. Um, but maybe, who knows, in the future, he'll come back to us. Um, me and Mark, we used to hang out every morning over at Frack Frack. All right. Let me put the rest of the butter back in the fridge. A little paper around it. We don't need that. Right, let's continue mixing. <laughs> Mark, come to the dark side. <laughs> well, he's here right now. Come on, uh, make my hand a little bit wet with some water. Makes it easier. What's going on? Lightstream is acting silly again. Damn, Lightstream is having issues today. I'll eventually switch to uh, a good PC or laptop with capture card, but for the time being I'm using Lightstream because I'm streaming straight from my Xbox and I still want the overlays, you know? But it's uh, known for having issues from time to time. You guys might not even notice it, but on my end I can see the program which runs through the server browser. So it's not really a program you have to install on your laptop. But it, I can see it disconnecting every now and then. And I even I haven't even start baking these cookies, this dough, and it already smells good because of the cinnamon and the nutmeg. A little bit more water here. It glitched for two to. Oh, that's uh, compared to the problems I usually have. That's not a lot. So, guess we're good. Thanks for the feedback, Jenna. I just like to um, make doughs with my bare hands because it's kind of a weird fetish. It just feels so nice. It's sticky. It's, mm. All right, that's quite enough.
Yummy, yummy, yummy. Let me clean my hands real quick. Ooh, did a little burp. <laughs> that's uh, that's like Miranda in my chat every cooking sh show. She doesn't really say anything. She just she just types out the sounds she's making. Like mmm, oh, ooh, ah, oh, ho, 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 ho. no, 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 no. Like she never says something. She's, it's only like typing out the noises she's making or dropping emotes like she does right now. <laughs> All right, so this is the batter, but we're not quite there yet because we need to add the walnuts to it. So I'm gonna take some of the walnuts here. It's quite enough. And I'm just gonna chop them up a little bit with a different knife. I need to, like a really sharp one. Good thing I got one. Don't cut it until it's like powder, just reduce the size of the walnuts a little bit. So you get like little chunks. Um, I preheated my oven at 180 degrees Celsius. That's roughly uh, 350 Fahrenheit, something like that. You can uh, do calculations with Google, like reverse it to Fahrenheit. But yeah, 180 degrees Celsius, guys. Right, into the batter it goes. Uh, let's catch up with chat here real quick. <clears throat> well, I must go to work. I get my chores done fast. I may be able to catch the ending of the break. On the break. All right, Jenna, thanks for hanging out. Um, if you don't make it, I wish you a great weekend. And thank you for hanging out. Um, I hope I can uh, drop by at your stream sometime. But the time zones, the time zones. Have a good one and good luck with work today, Jenna. Appreciate you. All right, let's mix the walnuts through the batter here. Or dough. What's the difference between batter and dough? I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm Dutch, you know. I think my English is uh, properly, but... I know sometimes you call it batter, sometimes you call it dough. I think batter is more like more liquid, I guess. And dough is like really firm. But, uh, I need uh, English people or American people or Canadian people to, to uh, clarify that for me. Washing my hands again. Also, Let's put this aside. Let's uh, clean my working space real quick. I like to clean up, clean up in between the cooking. So at the end of the cooking, I don't have a lot of work on my hands cleaning the whole kitchen, you know. I think more people should do that. Because sometimes when somebody cooks, it's like afterwards, it's like, it seems like everything exploded. Uh, better dough is okay. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Master Noob. What's up, Master Noob? Hello, hello. All right. So I need a baking plate with some baking paper on it. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna do it by hand. Now it's time. to pair the cookies. So I'm taking like around this size. I roll it into a ball, a ball. Like 
And once I did all the the balls, <laughs> I'm gonna squash it down with the with the spoon, a hot spoon, a little bit. But first, let's roll all these tiny balls. Make sure there's enough space between each cookie because we're using self-rising flour. You don't want them to stick together. I'm curious how much cookies I will manage to make here. Actually, hold on guys, let's redo this. I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller. So, <clears throat> whoever uh, was watching my cooking show two episodes ago, where I made the milieu with the white chocolate mousse, uh, might remember there was a lot of waiting time uh, during the stream because we had to wait on, for the dough to be ready and everybody's like shit get on with it but yeah cooking is patience a lot of the times um, but because of that I came up with something new um, we might not use it today because I think uh, once we put the cookies in the oven that need to be baked for approximately 20 minutes we're gonna make the hazelnut paste um, but if it ever if it ever occurs again where we have to wait and you know I can't continue cooking until something is like baked or cooked uh, I came up with an idea uh, it's something new I made a quiz and with that quiz it's like a true or false quiz um, you can earn extra chickens. Just to, something to fill up the time, you know? Oh shit, I hear chicken shouts. What's going on? Chief is raiding? 69? Holy shit, that's a lot of chickens bringing. Chief is bringing to the chicken farm. Chief, thank you so much, you crazy human. Let's go. Zippy's bringing out her face like that. What's up, Act? What's up, Murder? Thank you so much, Chief. Getting ready for bed, yeah. Are those chicken turds? <laughs> now, this is uh, uh, dough for the cookies, Amaya. I don't think chickens um, make this large poop. I don't think so. Murda is gifting us up to Maya. Let's go, Murda. Appreciate that. <laughs> Blunt Gunner is now following. Appreciate that, man. Welcome to the chick farm. You're one of the chickens now, man. The chickens, chicken sounds are going crazy right now. Adrian Gibson is also following. Appreciate that. Welcome. To the chicken farm you're one of the chickens now can we get a zippy can we get an explanation mark chief and right after that an explanation mark murder in chat yes for those who came with the raiding party from chiefs today we're making some cookies why isn't it showing oh it is showing cinnamon walnut cookies with hazelnut paste guys right now we're working on the cookies we're gonna put them in the oven in a bit and then we'll go and create the hazelnut paste. Time for bed for Chief. Yes, I can imagine you were playing all night, Chief, you vampire. Thank you once again, Chief, for the raid. Appreciate it a lot. A lot of chickens with that raid. You have a great night rest. Chief, and I'll probably talk to you in the next Coffee and Chief morning stream. Uh, damn, who's gifting it? Murder! Gifting another sub, this time Adrian. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Adrian gifting a sub to Duck. 
Let's go. I didn't realize Doug was here. Hold on, I gotta catch up here with chat because I see so many stuff. Let me clean my hands. I can see a massive giving subs here. God damn, your guys are on fire. Let's see. Let me scroll up real quick. Who, who needs thanking? Adrian with 10 gifted subs? Holy shit, Adrian. Gotta share the love. Well, you you showed showed it right. Holy shit, Adrian. Thank you so much, man. Crazy, 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 Adrian. Appreciate it. Good night, Chief. Have a good one. Appreciate you, Chief. Murda is going to bed as well. Right, Murda. Thank you, man. You crazy, crazy long-haired bastard. <laughs> you want me to share the cookies? <laughs> uh, don't forget, Miranda. I'm a Dutch guy. Uh, Dutch, Dutch people are known for being greedy. So, I only do takeaways. I only do takeaways. <laughs> Bye, Murda. You long-haired, handsome bastard. So I think we have quite enough. Just a little bit more better uh, dough in the in the bowl here. So these last two will be slightly larger. And because of the cinnamon and the nutmeg inside the dough, it smells really good already. And I haven't even baked them yet. So these last two are quite big. That's what she said. Let's me clean my hands again. Also, I'm gonna grab a bowl of hot water. Some hot water. So, whoever is new to my channel or watching it for the first time, um, I do cooking shows, as you might have noticed. Um, but I also stream video games, mostly Battlefield. Mostly Battlefield. But every now and then I play other stuff too. Um, but as of recently, um, the cooking shows are like the most frequent kinds of streams I do. Because I really, I just enjoy it so much. Even when I'm not streaming it, I just enjoy cooking. Um, so why not go ahead and turn on the camera, you know? So, I'm taking the hot spoon and squashing down the dough a little bit. I'm squashing the nuts. isn't too loud if it is please let me know <laughs> I just run Rocket League in the background guys <laughs> the music you hear is like Rocket League Which confuses my friends on Xbox sometimes. They're like, oh, Jermon is playing Rocket League and they're sending me invites. But little do they know I'm not playing it. I'm just like using it for the for the music. It's copyright free, so it's a great way I still have some music in the background. All right. So cookies are going into the oven. As mentioned, the oven is set to 180 degrees Celsius. And we're going to bake them for around... 20 minutes in that period we're gonna start and create our hazelnut paste I'm gonna put the cookies on the top shell like that all right 
time for our hazelnut paste. Let's make some room here. Oh, I forgot to set the timer. 20 minutes. There you go. Voila. All right, so back to the ingredients for the hazelnut paste. Also, I got this nice little jar where I can put the hazelnut paste in. It's like for, for jam, for example. Clever. I try to be, Miranda. I, I try to be. But most of the times I fail being clever. I'm basically a dumbass. Oh, shit. I almost forgot. Look what I got. I drink one smoothie a day. Just put it in the blender with some yogurt and fruit. This particular smoothie is banana strawberry. And I'm gonna have a glass of that. Uh, I already had one. But gonna have to drink it. Otherwise it won't be as good as it is right after you made it. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. All right, hazelnuts, 200 grams. I said in the beginning, if you buy these like with the skin still on, you have to roast them in the oven first. Um, these are already roasted and peeled, so we don't have to go through that process. Let's uh, switch the camera a little bit. Because you do need a kitchen machine for this, guys. Don't don't cut it up with your hands. It will take you a long ass time. Because you want it needs to be like all powdery. You have to like mix it until it's like powder. Kitchen machine. It's kind of blurry. Hold on. I think the lens is a little bit dirty. There you go. All right. I got my blade here. Uh, this kitchen machine is nearly broken. Um. So, if I all of a sudden go offline, that means uh, it, it made like an electric uh, failure. <laughs> so, but uh, let's hope it will uh, last. All right. I'm gonna make some noise now, guys. I'm doing like uh, short bits because I can already smell the electricity. And that really stinks, by the way. Like all the, the equipment for it, it's still good, but the, the motor underneath, it's like. Like, I, I have this machine for over 10 years, so it is dangerous, I know. But I like danger, Miranda. We're nearly there. And with this... Uh, hazelnut paste you can basically create the same with every kind of nut um, you can make like uh, almond paste or walnut paste of course the most delicious one and the most well-known one is hazelnuts like Nutella uh, living on the edge yes I got a I got a nose for danger I like danger that's why I always push the objective on battlefield i'm not like those scary type of camping motherfuckers on the side of the map like oh i'm not gonna worry about the objective i'm gonna worry about my kd those kind of motherfuckers i'm not like that but if i turn it right it will like continue mixing 
if I turn it to the left, you get like a pulse, like a pulse mix. It will like really pul uh, mix it hard for a brief second. So that's what I'm doing here to kind of prevent the machine from uh, having uh, power failures. It's like uh, an old car that doesn't start. <laughs> so there are still a little bit chunkies inside, but I actually like that. Just like with peanut butter, I like if there are still like little chunks in there. So we managed to survive that. Look, you can maybe you guys can see it on the board. See? Because of the electricity underneath, like the sparks. But we survived, guys. We survived. I'm still here. You guys are still here, so we're good. All right, let's uh, switch back the camera again. <laughs> What's up, Barb? Yeah, Chief just came in with the raid. She's gone to bed now. Um, she decided. Uh, to rate the cooking show today. How are you doing, Barb? Thanks for tuning in. We're back with another sweet stream today, Barb. We did like a, a main course last time. Right now we're back to the to the cookie and cake and sweetness. Uh, I need another bowl. Alright. So let's put the, the hazelnuts in there. Still quite chunky. Oh, you're dressing up. Oh. Oh, oh, any any particular special day or something, or you always dress up for your girlfriend, or or do you have something to celebrate today? I'm doing mighty fine. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm doing good. Hmm, drinking my smoothie right now. A smoothie a day keeps the doctor away, guys. All right. We got that. Now we need coca powder. You know. 50 grams, so I need my weighing skill again. Oh. Coca powder, icing sugar, quite a lot, 125. All right. And some sea salt. You can use le regular salt too, um, but I'm just a sucker for sweet stuff with uh, with sea salt. Like for example, uh, you know those chocolate bars, caramel sea salt. Oh lord, that's so good. I might make that someday on stream. Oh, I misread it. I thought it said dressed. I'm gonna dress up. 
You were naked and now you're putting on... You watched Chiefs her stream naked, Barb. Shit. That's alright. I, I, I usually take a shit on the toilet while I talk to her. She doesn't know. <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> she knows. Uh, is it what? IKEA? Is it an IKEA bag? I didn't even know that. Oh, you're right. Didn't even see that. So the answer is no. I'm gonna mix that up together. So, there's that. Now we're gonna add the sunflower oil, but like bit by bit. And I think we'll need around six tablespoons, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. We'll see. But you have to like add it bit by bit, like add some, some of it, stir it, add a little bit more and so on and so on until you got the right thickness. Right, a little bit of sunflower oil. I'm starting to smell the cookies. Very nice. You don't want the paste to be too thin, but you don't want it to be too thick either, you know? If it's too thin, it won't come out of the jar. It makes it hard to scoop it out. And if it's too thick, you can't spread it out over your cookie or bread, whatever you use it on. Uh, let's catch up with chat again. Uh, I watch a lot of people naked. If I'm in the tub, I'm naked. <laughs> I know so little people are having a bath with clothes. Uh, I don't know anybody who has that. A bath too. Like I don't... We used to have a bath in the old house. <laughs> nice one, Barb. That last one. Barb over here, guys, got a really high head with uh, with comments in it, and every now and then she pulls one out. Like, all right, I got another one for you. So it's starting to look like hazelnut paste right now. Oh. And as the further you go along, mixing it up, the more muscles you need for it. Oh, hold on, this song is a little bit uh, intense. Next. Just by the press of a button. And I don't have muscles, guys. It's more like spaghetti. A right, little bit more. I know you're a spicy girl and I appreciate it. Like nowadays, well, we talked about it, Barb, on Discord. Like nowadays, you can hardly say anything without pissing off somebody. So it's nice to uh, meet people who, you know, 
don't restrain them until a certain level because there are always levels where you don't have to go and get across, you know, then it gets too wild. But it seems like that level is really low with a lot of people nowadays. So it's really nice to talk to somebody, you know, that doesn't really restrain themselves or is worried about like, oh, I don't know if I can say this. Let's go appreciate that sippy. Right, cleaning up a little bit again. I got the nice hazelnut paste. So if you got a kitchen machine, uh, you can see that hazelnut paste is quite easy to create yourself. If you are lucky to find hazelnuts at the supermarket or the local market. Um, and it might be even better than like the pre-made ones. Just the fact alone that you created it yourself, you know, that's that's good enough. How many minutes left on the clock for the cookies? Five more. So let's have a look at those cookies real quick. Everything is going according to plan. So I didn't spread them out too much. So they're kind of sticking together, but they're nearly there. Let's put the paste in the jar. Yes, that's what Sippy does, Barb. That's what he does. He's the chick mojiru. Didn't you know? Zippy, zippy, zippy the chick mojiru. Of all my mods, I have like five or six, I don't know. All my mods, Zippy is like the oldest mod. Uh, not just age wise, but also like the longest mod I had. Not everything fits the jar. Mm. Oh, hold on. We can't do without a shot of me licking my fingers here. Mm. That's for you, Barb. <laughs> All right. So since we have to wait, I can show you guys my waiting time stuff let's do it are you guys ready to earn some chickens while we wait let's go all right so let's pull up the new overlay i made yesterday <laughs> just a little something to fill up the time um while we wait with the cooking so it's really easy it's either true or false and you can enter. So we have like 10 rounds. After the 10th round, there will be a bonus round. Um, but each round, you have to say true or false. All right. So let's go to the first question. And I'm going to switch up the, the subject, each quiz I'm doing. This is the first one. So the subject on this 10 questions upcoming is like involving me and the channel uh, probably gonna do like a food team quiz or a battlefield team quiz but uh yeah just for you barb this one is kind of involves the chicken farm streams all right let's do it so first question let me start up the betting you have one minute to place a bet, guys. So, explanation mark bet zero for true. Don't forget to add the amount of chickens you want to place as a bet. There you go. Sippy, you still got to bet uh, how many chickens. A maximum of 10k. So first question, Jamona started streaming back on Mixer.com. What's up, Ash? Oh, Ash. It's exclamation mark bet, then the option number, like 
zero or one, and then the amount of chickens. Yes, there you go. Hi, Ash, how are you doing? Five more seconds to place a bet. All right. Let's have a look at the answer here. You guys were correct. I started back on Mixer, guys. July 2019. I'm good, Ash. I hope you're good too. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Thanks for tuning in, Ash. Right, next question. Hold on, I need to start the betting again. There you go. Round two. Jamona didn't do cooking streams until he moved over to Twitch. In the meantime, let's have a look at the cookies. Yes, finished. You can place your bets. Zero for true, one for false. Ash says, that's false. Barb says, false. Betting a thousand. If you're like really sure on your answer, you can also bet like 10k. Because it's like uh, double or nothing with this. What's up, Les? Let's be real. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Alright, we got 10 more seconds to place your bets. I can't reduce, like, I can't, like, do the betting time less than a minute. Alright. The right answer was false. There you go. Alright, let's uh, pick up the pace here. Alright, let's reset the betting again. Alright. This is the first one for me, guys, so um, I think I'll do it quicker next time. Round three. On the very first cooking show, Jamona made an apple pie. So episode one, I made an apple pie. True or false? Didn't count you? Oh, shit. You had the correct answer, right, uh, Ash? I'll give, you, uh, I'll give you your price after... So Ash and Barb say that it's true, but they're not sure according to the amount of chickens they place as a bet. Barb did like 10 and Ash like 100. You gotta do explanation mark, bet, followed by either zero for false, or uh, I mean true, or one for true, cup got. Joining in on the phone. Yeah, we'll, we'll, once we completed the quiz, Ash, I'll show you the result of the cooking. Betting closed. So, did Jamona make an apple pie on the very first cooking show? Yes or no? And I'm sorry to tell you guys, it was false. On the very first cooking show, I made a cheesecake. Alright, next question. I got 10 questions, so let's pick up the pace here. Next question. Jamona has two cats. True or false? Yes, the first cookie show I made cheesecake. Cup cut. Cup cut says. It's true, Jamona has two cats. Are you counting my pussy? <laughs> Sippy says no, he only has one cat, or three, or four, or six. Ash says yes, Jamona has two cats. So we got two bets on true, two bets on false. We got 10 more seconds for whoever who didn't uh, join yet. I wish I could reduce the betting time like to 30 seconds instead of one minute, you know? All right, betting closed. <coughs> Incorrect again, guys, it's false. I only have one cat. Her name is Teun. Teun, that's like actually 
a male name in Dutch, but uh, it's it, it's a she, and her name is Teun. All right, up to the next question. We can go like halfway through the questions and then get back to the cooking because everything is done. I thought this would go faster, but apparently it isn't. Seriously, Teun, yes. All right, next question. Oh, I need to reset. All right, betting starting. True or false? The number one viewer on the chicken leaderboard, so that's like the leaderboard who, who has the most chickens, is called the Chicken Whisperer. Now the longtime regulars, they must know this answer. True or false? Are you called the Chicken Whisperer? Cop God says it's false. Barb says it's true. Miranda's going all in. Let's go. You only have 5,000 chickens. Sippy is really sure on that one. He's betting the maximum of 10k. Oh, too late now, Miranda. You can't switch it up again. Poor Miranda. You can only bet once, Miranda. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ash says it's true too. Betting closed. Correct answer was yes. If you're number one on the chicken leaderboard, you are the chicken whisperer. Right now, as shown in the top 10, dubbing is number uno and therefore the chicken whisperer. Um, this was kind of an easy one, even if you would have known. Look at the overlay. Welcome to the chicken farm. Chicken Whisperer, dubbing for life. <laughs> All right, next question. Oh, let's uh, yeah, well, let's do this one, and we'll continue with the quiz after we finish up here. Next questions. Uh, viewers have to sacrifice chickens to get a rooster booster. True or false? I think one for yeah i had the same thing in the in the beginning when i start using the betting options with uh, stream uh, reps but that's just how it's program program yeah programs you know i can't change that the option numbers we do <laughs> we we sacrifice tickets cop got this yes that's true Ash is like, yes, that's true. Oh no, Ash says it isn't true. Ash says it's false. Cop God went ahead and sacrificed the chicken. Doesn't show the answer in that text though. Right. The correct answer was true. You gotta sacrifice chickens to get a rooster booster. Every hundred sacrificed chicken souls, there will be a rooster booster. You wanna, you guys wanna continue until uh, question ten, or uh, you're like, no, I'm done with this. I'm losing too many chickens. Let's get back to the cooking. I mean, the cookies still have to cool down a little bit before we uh, can uh, finish up. You want to continue? All right. So I got uh, three more questions for you guys then. And one bonus question. All right. Next question then. I have to do a lot of uh, clicking and switching back and forth and, and more clicking. So question number seven. The highest chat rank you can achieve is called Chiconair. True or false? Are they chickens or cocks? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Depending on which area of the world you live in. Sippy says, no, not true. But he's not sure. He's only betting a hundred. Barb says, yes, it's not true. I, I know that one. It's not true, says Barb. Everybody's going for false so far. Cop God is also going for false. Let's see how many time we have left. 
eight seconds. So everybody who bet it goes for false. And I'm happy to inform you guys that's true. Because Chicken Air, that's like the one rank before the highest rank. And that's called Chicken God. The highest rank you can get is Chicken God, which comes after Chicken Air. All right, almost there, guys. So far, the Chicken Arc has been unlocked 28 times. True or false? 28 times. So false is true. And true is false. I don't know. Did I maybe I clicked the wrong option? If I did, I'm so sorry. Zero for true, one for false. Sippy and Barb are like, no, that's incorrect. It hasn't been unlocked for 28 times. Maybe more, maybe less. No, that's what you said, false is true. Oh shit, I fucked up. <laughs> Airwolf, what's up? We're doing a little quiz here. Um, before our cookies uh, have cooled down. Um, so, is it true or false? Let's see. It's incorrect. Um, if you want to know, you can type... There you go. So here you can see everybody who unlocked it and how many times they unlocked it. Should add up to 21 times or 22 times, but definitely not 28. We're not there. Jamona, could you make a, the command? No, like I'm doing this with uh, Streamlabs, Cup God, um, with the chatbot. It has like a pre-made betting system, the thing we're using right now. And like the way it shows its options, that's like zero, one, two, three, depending on how many options you add to it. But it always is with the numbers and it always starts with zero. So for me, it's quite, um, um, how do you say it? Quite weird too. It's like, but the more we'll do this, the more we get used to it. Unfortunately, I can't change that. It's either like this or completely take away the game. But uh, let's uh, finish up this quiz, guys. Two more questions. All right. Jamona has played Battlefield 5 for more than 1200 hours. True or false? It would have been much easier, Cup God, if, if I could do that. Then I, then I would already done that, you know? That's why I added like an example in the, like the text Chuck is saying, round is starting, you can enter by typing, blah, blah, blah. Example, you know. Barb and Sippy say, yes, that's true. Cup God says, yes, that's true. Cup God is pretty sure, betting 5,000 chickens on that. Ten more seconds to place a bet. The correct answer is false, guys. I'm just under 1200 hours. I played it for 1100. <laughs> No, I got 50 days, Cup God. I got 50 days. I'm sorry. Except for Paradise, which is weird language. 
Only 11, only 1100. That's like 42 days. Barb, <laughs> that's 42 days of my life. Me playing Battlefield. Imagine you can go on a vacation for 42 days. Shit. <laughs> but it certainly wasn't a waste of time. All right. Final questions. Uh, question. Let's get it. question is Jamona's mods are from Canada, USA, UK the Netherlands and Spain true or false zero for true one for false everybody's thinking like okay who's here who, who, who are the mods here Barb says no that's not true and bets a hundred Sippy does the same. I don't know if there are is a mod from Spain. Copcat is said, yeah, that's true. All the countries named in that text, that's where the mods are from. One more second. Correct answer is false. I don't have a mod from Spain. So you thought, well, Barb, Spain, like all the other countries are correct. But Spain should have been Puerto Rico. I don't have mods from Spain. All right, that's the uh, end of the quiz. But we got a bonus round upcoming. Whoever answers the first correct answer gets 10k all right you can enter your answer once it shows up by pressing explanation mark followed by the answer together so don't put a space between it explanation mark with answer all right so we're gonna take away the true or false here all right here it comes how old is Jamona? so explanation mark with the number attached to it. First to guess it wins. Take a good look at my face. I'm gonna be so pissed at you if you're gonna do like, I don't know, 50 or something. No, no. Isn't 35, isn't 30 either. Come God, you got it right, 34. I'll turn 35 in November. All right, so this was the first time doing the quiz. Um, probably the more we do it, the more smoother we can do it. Um, maybe I should like in advance kind of calculate out how much waiting time there will be during the cooking and like adapt the amount of questions in the quiz uh, along with that. Because this time like doing 10 questions, it took more time than we had to wait. Um, but at least now, guys, we can look at the result. I know you guys been craving for it. It's in my bio. <laughs> well, basically every question there was, maybe not so much the first question. Um, with uh, that, what? That's not. Oh, that was in my bio too, by the way. What was the first question again? Um, can't recall oh yeah if I started back on mixer that's in my bio like basically everything is like somewhere to be found a lot of questions were to be found on the website for example uh, like who's called the chicken whisperer what what the sacrificing chicken does it's a nine time filler up thanks hippie yeah and I'm gonna sw switch around the subjects for each quiz I, I was thinking about if I need the quiz in the next cooking show because I'm making something where there's waiting time. In the next show, I'll be doing like a food subject quiz. Like all the questions will be about food, you know? But I thought for the first time, it's nice to like kind of have like a throwback through the history of the chicken farm. Anyway, without further ado, back to the cookies. All right. They cooled down now. So let's go. Cookie time. 
Look at that. <gasps> Ooh, cookies! Nom 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 nom. And they smell delicious. So these are the cinnamon walnut cookies, guys. Very tasty. So, yeah, they're cooled down. Nice and crunchy. Because you don't want to put the hazelnut paste on it when they're still warm. Then all the hazelnuts... It happened to the other stream where I made the chocolate mousse and tried to put it in between the milfio that was still hot and then everything drained out, you know? Um, so we had to wait a little bit until it was cooled down. So I'll start using the leftovers in the bowl. But what you basically do, let's take out the hipster board. I got a hipster board here. So you grab one cookie, like that. It's a little bit of the hazelnut paste, which is delicious, by the way. Like that. And then you put the other one on top of that. Ooh la la. All right, next one. Yeah, I was, I, thanks for the feedback, uh, Sippy, by the way. I, I was, like, after that last show, I mean, people weren't really bothered by it. At least not that I, like, noticed. Because we were just talking, you know. But I was like, hmm, how, how can I prevent, like, a lot of waiting time to be boring, you know. And it probably won't happen every cooking show. Usually, I make, like, recipes that are, like, really... You can really uh, plan that in advance, so that everything is done at the same time. Uh, but sometimes I'm just making a recipe where it's impossible to do that. Because it has to cool down, or it has to bake, or whatever, you know? So like, how am I going to solve that? So that's when I came up with the quiz. I made the overlay for it. All those text clouds. I still had those text clouds uh, like uh, ready because I used that in my be, rec be right back screen. I only had to add the questions. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. How many more can I make? Two, three, three more, guys. It fits the hipster board perfectly. So this bowl is empty. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna go ahead. Take out the jar, which I already filled up. There's hazelnut paste everywhere. Oh, it's so good. Little nice hint of sea salt there. Lovely. This will taste so good on a slice of bread or something. Oh. Messy. Mm -mm. V1, the burn cheered 100. Burn! What's up? And Rabbit is here too. Appreciate the bees bringing out the chicken cheerleader like that. Let's go, Burn. Appreciate it. And the green rabbit, aka Dan the man, 
A.K.A. The Golden Voice, A.K.A. Mr. E-Bike, A.K.A. Chronic's Left Hand, A.K.A. Lil D's Bully, what's up? That's a lot of a A.K.A.'s for uh, for Mr. Rabbit there. Appreciate the shoutouts, Cup God, doing your mob thingies. Let's go. Looks delicious. Yeah. Oh, we just finished up over here. We're right now. We're doing the last cookie today, guys. Rabbit burn. We made cinnamon hazelnut cookies. Uh, scratch that. That's incorrect. We made cinnamon walnut cookies, and we made our own hazelnut paste to fill it. AKA drooling cookies. Yes, these are. Um, this is something I came up with today. Rabbit, burn. I was at the supermarket to do my groceries and all the nuts were like on sale. So I was like, shit, I need to bring those nuts because once they're out of sale, you have to pay full price again and nuts can be really expensive. Well, not can be, they are expensive. Um, so, it, but the, like the discount you could get was like really, really much, you know. So I just went ahead and just bought a whole lot of them, like a kilo. Um, but then I was like, shit, what am I going to do with all these, <laughs> with all these nuts, you know? Let me clean my kitchen area while we're, while I'm at it. Um, so like, you know what? I'll do a cooking show. First, I planned to do it on Monday, and then I was like, no, I feel I want to eat it right now. So I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? So I was, was browsing the internet, maybe, and I find like a nice recipe or something, but nothing like appealed to me, things I found. So I decided to do <laughs> kind of my own instant recipe here. It's like, you know what? I'm just gonna come up with my own recipe today. It's a bit messy, but that's, that's all right. They almost look as good. Ah, oh, stop it! You make it. Gosh, Burn says looks amazing. Thank you, Burn. We did uh, we did our best today. Um, we also still have to taste. And look how many hazelnut paste I got left. Rabbit loves sea salt. Yeah, me too, man. With with fish or with chocolate, it's just so good, you know. Oh, these these are like little moist tissues if I don't have these laying around I'm just like malfunctioning all day I can't do without these little moist tissues it smells good make sure kitchen clean again real quick mm. all right it's time to stuff my face with the cookies you can go nuts with these nuts Look at that hazelnut filling on those cinnamon walnut cookies, guys. Good lord. Oh, shit balls. If that doesn't look good, I don't know. Ooh la la. And we got... We got ten of them, guys. Mm. Mm. Lordy, lordy, lordy. I'm so happy I decided to do this today. Look how shiny the hazelnut paste is. And I hope, guys, whoever was here the entire stream, or maybe those who want to watch it back, um, I, I hope that maybe at least one of you guys at least create the hazelnut paste at home. People spend a lot of money on buying a jar of pre-made hazelnut paste. But this hazelnut with the sea salt in it, um, I'm sure you're gonna love it, Rabbit. I'll make you a jar when you and Lindsay come and visit me. Or maybe like one big ass jar you can bring home, you know? Just take it home. It's just like, it's really easy. Just buy yourself some hazelnut, put it in a blender, add some, some spices and some some sweet stuff a little bit of sea salt and you got your own made hazelnut paste and it's 
far more delicious than that pre-made stuff. Even better than Nutella. Mm. If you're not moist, you're not functioning. Just like me. <laughs> A lot of lightning, so I'm gonna go like this. Yes. And I also, I can't... Hello? Just fucking around. Um, I gotta, I gotta do this at least once. Cause look, look how beautiful Burns chicken is. Look at that. She's on fire, literally. Hence the name, feel the burn. Can you feel it? I can sure feel it. And um, rabbits avatar. It's also amazing. <laughs> it's a chicken wearing a green rabbit suit. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, that's, uh, I would give one criticism, point of criticism. Next time I'm gonna make these, I'm gonna add more cinnamon to the cookie dough. I don't really taste the cinnamon all that much, just a little bit. You would have eaten at least three by now. I understand that. Because of the nutmeg, the cookie kind of... I don't know if you ever had spiced biscuits. In Dutch we say speculaas. It kind of tastes like that. Mm. Oh my god. I think... There are a lot of things I did on the streams, on the cooking shows, where I was... In the end of the stream, I was like, oh, this is the best thing I made so far. For example, the Scottish uh, um, chicken soup with the rice and the, and the prunes. Um, but this is definitely my new favorite. <laughs> Holy shit. And the funniest thing is, I didn't even use a recipe for it. I was just like, all right, I'm just going to write out something myself because I got to use these nuts. In a way, you know, I had to do something with the nuts. Like, you know what? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Barb, for hanging out. I appreciate you. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll talk soon, Barb. Have a good one. Have a great weekend, Barb. One more time for you, Barb. <laughs> Take care, be safe, Barb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to try this, maybe just a cookie or just a hazelnut paste. Recipes on Discord. Maybe uh, Cupcat can throw an explanation mark Discord in chat for those who are down for some foodie love. Thank you, Barb. Mm. I don't think these cookies will last the day. I think they're all gone by the end of the day. Maybe within an hour. <laughs> Thank you, Cupcut. Cupcut is like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and drop your YouTube link too. Yeah, I don't do anything with YouTube though that much, guys. For me, it's basically a storage. Like on Twitch, all your previous streams are being saved for 14 days. After that, they expire and they will be gone forever. And with the cooking shows, it's just a shame if that would go to waste, you know? So I always upload the cooking streams 
to my YouTube, so it will be there forever for you guys to watch. Or maybe when you picked one of the recipes from the Discord and you're reading it and like, all right, I need I need some footage along with it to make it easier for myself. You can uh, you can watch the YouTube uh, videos too. I got some compi uh, uh, compilations on there as well, like from the games, but it's mostly storage for for the cooking show streams. Yeah, I've, and some montage, yeah, like compilation. Yeah, I've been getting into video editing a little bit lately. Uh, you might have noticed, Cup God. Um, the first time I actually did that, with not just cutting off every game clip, but also adding stuff to it, like text or images or sounds. That's something I started doing recently. The first one I made was like with the, with the wieners, the cocks on the rocks, you know, that was my first video editing clip I made. <laughs> oh yeah, Cup God, he, uh, he picked the, the brownie recipe from Discord once and then he made it according to the recipe and then he posted the result. Uh, and it looked exactly the same as my recipe. So you could say he was quite accomplished on that. Oh. This makes me so happy. Oh my lord. It's so good. Alright. I will stop bullying you guys. Let's have a quick look. Here, I'm gonna prepare the raid. Let's let's <coughs> let's have one more look for you guys. One more look here. They just look amazing. Look at that nice moist hazelnut paste. Mm. You like the montages? Thanks, man. Appreciate those kind words, Cup God. It's uh, it's kind of kind of a hassle to create, even if it's like a, a clip, one minute clip. I spent like two hours creating that because it's got it has to be very precise. You know, a little bit, half a second to the left, half a second to the right. It's it's a lot of work, but the result it's like really it's really pleasing. Julia is a good rate target. Let's see, is Julia online? Oh, got them. It's too light outside. Too much lightning. Yes. I think we should do that, Rabbit. She's gonna feel the chicken love. Let's uh, set that rate up. Mm. Um. Where's my forward slash? Give me a sec here, guys. Do you recognize the music, Rabbit? Created dashboard. I shut down my created dashboard, so. Or stream manager, if you will. Let's see. Quick actions. Great. Rate who? Pick a channel. Right. Stop Julia. Sorry. Playing Rainbow Six Siege. Let's go. She is a sweetheart. Um, I was so bummed hearing that her cat died a while ago. Why is there so much lightning? Let's switch it back. Um, yeah, guys. <coughs> Thanks for hanging out. Uh, lots of love today. We had uh, Chief coming in with the raid. Massive raid. Like 60 or something. 60 chickens dropping by the chicken farm. She was like, here, take my viewers. Then we had uh, Adrian with, how many was it? 10 gifted subs. 
we had Murda doing some uh, gift shopping, and uh, and Chief did one too, I believe. Just crazy, just crazy. Um, I want to say thanks to everybody who was here, who shared the love, the rates, the bits, the gifted subs, everything. I feel blessed with you guys. You guys are all awesome. You are great human beings. Um, even without all that gifting and such, uh, even without that, everybody is freaking amazing and loved all the way from here, from the, the Netherlands. We're gonna raid Stop Julia. Um, she's playing Rainbow Six Siege, that's like her main game. Let's give her some love and we'll talk soon. I'll be back tonight doing Battlefield, so whoever is down joining me. Feel free to join. Um, right now I'm gonna clean up and then I'm gonna have to do something on the laptop. I have to try and connect my controller to a MacBook so I can play some games with Rabbit. I'll be on that this afternoon. Um, later guys. Take care. Be safe. And most of all, you gotta stay chicken. Much love guys. Love you too, Dan. Love you too. And yes, I will do that. Then, after I clean up here, I'm gonna do that. Later, stay chicken.